Hi hey everybody, it's uh, Mark again, and I hope everybody is uh, having a great time. I hope everybody's enjoying my videos. I am sorry that I haven't posted a clock video recently. I haven't felt good. I have a lot of back issues, and uh, if I do any l lifting, any work whatsoever, I'm out of commission. And so, uh, because of this boat I bought, I overdid it. I, uh, I, I went about a week ago and had a, a shot in both cheeks. Uh, typically, that shot takes care of me for six months, a year. But um, this time around, it's not doing what it normally does I'm gonna have to go back to the VA and have x-rays done to see if I separated a disc or I don't know what's going on but uh, purpose behind this video is because I went to a, a fish fry today and uh, me and my old boss son was talking he has a 3d printer and he is willing to create and print hard to get parts. So let's talk about some of those hard to get parts. The Music Box Governor. A lot of the Music Box Governors, this wheel right here that connects to the fan this wheel right here that connects to this governor fan a lot of them are plastic and they crack and when they get a crack in them you'll hear a clicking noise as the music is playing and that's because that wheel is cracked and there are repairs that you could do for that plastic wheel uh, to include and I got videos about this, but if the wheel is cracked with a micro drill, you drill on each side of the crack, and then you could take a wire and tighten up the crack, uh, twist the wire, um, you would feed the wire through one side of the hole and then back through the other side of the hole and then twist the wire until the crack uh, comes together and then snip off the excess wire. You could also put a bushing over that um, um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I've had to take extra medicine today and it's preventing me from thinking properly, uh, uh, getting my words. But anyway, you can put a bushing uh, on that part too. Um, some people have super glued and baking soda, uh, the crack, and how long it works, I don't know. But um, uh, my friend will purchase music the entire music box when they're on sale i've been at his house when he's done it he buys and sells and repairs cuckoo clocks for income i have seen him take a brand new movement apart just for that wheel because the clock that he's working on has got a cracked wheel these things on sale cost around fifty dollars the governor assembly itself on time savers costs about forty five dollars and you have to modify it and so people are spending forty five dollars plus shipping just because this wheel is cracked and i've said this time and time again 
I believe if I went to Switzerland where these assemblies are made, I bet I can go into a clock shop and I could buy those plastic ears by the hundreds. But here in the States, because of the money, they would rather sell you a $45 governor assembly and more versus a couple of dollar plastic wheel. Anyway, this guy that I will introduce in a little bit is willing, I've talked to him, is willing to create a program. I'm going to let him borrow one of my uh, music box governor assemblies and show him how to take it apart and put that plastic wheel on to get it just perfect. And once he gets it just perfect, he's going to be willing to sell those plastic wheels for $5 a piece. And a lot of people think, well, $5 is a lot of damn money. No, it's not. I just got through explaining that this entire governor assembly, low end side, is around $45. People buy parts off of eBay, etc. These music box assemblies all the time just for that plastic wheel, or in this case, it's a metal wheel, and it's all the same size. But they're spending a lot of money because they have a cracked plastic wheel and so five dollars is cheap and that is just one thing that he can design on his 3d printer and sell this is the famous east meckenbecker woodsman's clock Smeckenbecker made two types, one with a water wheel and one without a water wheel. This one doesn't have a water wheel. There's a door right there on the side um, that they used when it didn't have a water wheel. I have a friend who's trying to repair his grandmother's clock. You can't by the water wheel. There's a water wheel on one of the clock sides for $16. It's a wooden water wheel. These water wheels were plastic. But with that wooden water wheel, you have to have the original water wheel so you could take parts off of it. So Parts are not always available for clocks. A lot of times, these people' arms are missing. He can make those. This is the most sought after East Meckenbecker clock. It's the Church of Our Lady Cathedral clock. 90 plus percent of these clocks when you purchase them are missing the outer trumpeter arms and the trumpet itself on both trumpeters and it's missing the king's scepter he can 3d print those items and i told him between this clock and the East Meckenbecker Woodsman's, sorry, the uh, the musical governor um, cracked plastic wheels, he could sell lots of parts. An another clock that is supposed to have a woodsman right here, and I have one for it that a friend of mine made for me using a mold that I bought off of him. I just haven't put the thing on it yet. 
and I'm really slow about doing it. But you cannot find those parts. You see this wooden water wheel here? This is the kind of water wheel that is for sale on that website that I was telling you about. It will not work on that East Meckenbecker Woodsman's Clock with the water wheel because it has to have other parts to connect this water wheel to that clock. And as you can see, I always love these shirts. This is my 1880 Alexander Fleeg clock. That is the biggest cuckoo clock that I have. And it is a shirt designed with my inputs by Seth Linkfelter. It says, not for sale. It's my children's inheritance. What better way to show the love for your passion, to advertise your passion. I get people commenting on my shirt, shirts all the time. So uh, get with Seth Linkfelter, let him design you a shirt from one of his, uh, uh, sorry, from one of your clocks that you love. Uh, you could buy this shirt and many other shirts on Redbubble, and I will leave a link in the description of this video and leave a link to Seth's YouTube channel at the end of this video. If you do nothing else, uh, please hit the subscribe button to his YouTube channel. He is very professional. I wish my videos were as professional as Seth's videos. He doesn't put as many videos out as I do. And that's because he takes the time to edit, to create professional videos. He gives you the history of, of the clocks, as much history as he knows and can find, but his videos are extremely professional. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to his YouTube channel. If you do, if you, even if you don't order a shirt or have Seth design you a shirt, at least hit the subscribe button. And may God bless each and every one of you. You see this clock right here? that I went to the dollar store and got these gnomes, he could 3D print the actual figures of this, for this clock. And so, um, yes, uh, I could uh, uh, give him all the information and he could 3D print. There are so many different clocks out there that are missing parts that you cannot find that somebody with the technology of a 3D printer can easily make for you. Another East Meckenbecker clock. They made two of these clocks. One with the doe and a fawn and one with the buck and a fawn. The buck's antlers are plastic, and they're really little, and they break really easily. If you want your clock to be a buck versus a, a doe, he can make you the antlers. Or he can make you the items. He can make you... The dancers. There are some dancers that you can no longer get anymore. He can make them for you. All he's going to need is pictures and dimensions, etc., uh, for him to tell his program what to make. 
you remember this clock right here? I put a mini mouse on and again he could make the figure instead of using a mini mouse if you don't want the mini mouse he could make you the figure or he could make you the figures that originally belonged up here if that's what you want now this is Mark Drysdale he's the guy that has the 3d printer he is just starting his business. He makes other things, but I told him that he could make a crap load more money in making cuckoo clock parts. Parts. And I'll show you his business card next, hopefully. Sorry, went the wrong way. Uh, let me turn this right side up. Here's his business card. And so, if you want some clock parts, this is the guy that I would, I'm trying to help out. He's willing. He knows how to make, how to uh, um, customize his 3D printer, how to make the programs. He's got experience doing it. The only thing he's going to need from you is preferably the item. But if you don't have the item, dimensions, dimensions, dimensions. And of course, some cash afterwards. I could go on and on about what he could make. Some of the Oompa player clocks are missing figures. And if you want to keep your clock original, you could buy Oompa players off of Time Savers. But they're not going to be original to the clock. They're going to be different style. They made so many different styles of Oompa players that she can make for you. I hope everybody liked this video. You know, I could go on and on and on with the clock parts that could be missing from your clocks that you can't find. You know, certain makers are no longer in business. Meckenbecker is no longer in business. And don't take my word for it. Get on eBay 90 plus percent of the clocks out there are missing the outer trumpeter arms the trumpets and the king's scepter the plastic wheels you cannot purchase them in the united states like i said i personally feel if i went to switzerland and went to a clock repair shop and said hey i need some plastic wheels for the music governors they would say, how many do you want? And so, please contact Mark Drysdale. I left you his uh, uh, numbers. Now let me get that again for you. His phone number is 573-714-3491. Um, he's fixing to join both of my groups. So um, please contact him and keep the man busy making parts for you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hopefully uh, soon I will be getting back into some clock repair. So uh, may God bless each and every one of you.